In this video, we're gonna overclock our Raspberry Pi 4 to the maximum 2147 and our GPU to the maximum at 700 megahertz. And then we're gonna play some historically laggy games like GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64 and Quake 3 Arena for Dreamcast. I am putting this in a really nice case here with a huge heat sink and a really nice fan. And you can see that the Pi didn't even get that hot by the end of it, but we were able to max out the CPU. So we're gonna try a couple different resolutions and show you the performance performance of it and um, you know each person's uh, experience could be a little different but this gives you a good idea of what overclocking can do for your pie. So first thing I did was I installed the Twister OS. I'll put a link to it in the description, just raspianx.com, and there's a free download. I also set up my RetroPie just to install a couple emulators. I wanted to do Redream as my Dreamcast emulator, and I wanted to also check out the Parallel N64 emulator as I've had really good success with that as well, although MuPin Plus is awesome and MuPin does come pre-installed, so I didn't have to install that. So I just went to RetroPie setup, had my Pi hooked up to the internet, and there you go. Now this is why I picked the Twister OS because it has this Commander Pi easy overclocking. You just tell it what you want, type in the values, set them, and then reboot your PC and you should be rocking and rolling. Um, the other little things I did is make sure that I had it on performance mode and then I also included the Commander Pi just to make sure that I was maxing out my CPU while I was running these tests. So now for the tests. Oh man, I think that was even worse. Looks a lot better. Playable, but laggy. Looks really good.
Why won't you die? Bro. Run really good here, and it looks really good too. Except for the blue lines, I can understand on the side. Alright, so it's running fine when you go to 800 by 600. But then if we want to go the next one up, it should be 1024 by 768. Let's see if we get any lag here. It's right here. Gun, <laughs> so it's actually running really good this way. Got it up to 39 degrees through the whole test. Should drop down pretty quick. And uh, you can see the CPU immediately drop down when it was no longer in use. So final remarks, yes, the Raspberry Pi 4 can be overclocked, and yes, you will get significant performance increases, especially on those games that are just a little choppy. I mean, obviously, GoldenEye, as you see, if you want to pay, play it in HD, you need a much more powerful computer. But little tweaks do make pretty big improvements, like Super Smash Brothers, Conker's Fe Bad Fur Day, um, and then certain Dreamcast titles. Overclocking it this much, still, I had no issues with it overheating I had no issues with it rebooting it never rebooted a second if you have the proper cooling this is quite a cool little board now I probably wouldn't keep it on this for hours and hours and hours and hours I would probably just keep it at two gigahertz myself I feel like that's a pretty stable overclock to not ever really have to worry um, but the board's so cheap that you know I've yet to burn one and you know so consider that another thing so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one